Hi, this is Yazdabu, live from Sky 2019. I'm pleased to be joined uh, by the congenital program chairs, Dr. Benson, Moore, and Gruenstein. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Benson, let's start with a little bit talking about the congenital program. Uh, tell us a little bit more about what went into planning this year's event. Well, it was, it was intense in, in, in order to uh, identify uh, interesting topics for the breadth of the interventional cardiology community. Uh, it was very well, uh, I, John actually uh, organized this very well in, in, in a thematic way yeah. uh, from uh, the fetus through the adult. So beginning at, on uh, Monday, we started talking about uh, interventional procedures in, in the fetus in the, in the newborn, and we're concluding this afternoon with uh, adults with congenital heart disease. So it, it, there was a nice theme and flow to um, the um, uh, discussions about the different techniques. Uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Gruenstein, how, how do you... How do you how do you say you, you came up with, or how did you identify the programming and the themes for the track this year? So we did that in a combination of ways. Uh, about a year ago after the last meeting in 2018, we sent out a, a, a proposal, a, a call for proposals yeah. from the Sky community. So we ha had a lot of really terrific uh, suggestions from members of Sky, and we tried to incorporate those into the program. In addition to which, uh, the three of us met with the rest of the planning committee uh, last summer in in Washington, D.C. at the headquarters in order to talk about what we wanted to include in each session, what things have worked well in the past that we wanted to continue on, and what new kinds of topics and, and uh, individuals we wanted to invite. Yeah, Dr. Moore, how, how would you say, or what would, we, what would you say that some of the key sessions were during this meeting and something that you feel all attendants should have joined to, or participated this year? Well, uh, this year I think probably for the first time we included some what I would describe as out-of-the-box sessions, so sessions that we hadn't uh, previously um, incorporated into uh, our meetings, one of which was uh, the SIM session. Um, it was very well attended yesterday um, and uh, highlighted uh, simulation, the use of simulation in our practice. Um, and we had some people from, for example, the airline industry and from animation uh, and from some of the more advanced sim programs that deal with congenital heart disease. There, a uh, very spectacular presentation. We wore goggles. This was really uh, Dan's idea and uh, it turned out really well. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Gruenstein, tell us a little bit more about the feedback uh, for the session. How has it been received? Are you, uh, is it going to be expanded further next year? I certainly hope that we'll have an opportunity to expand it further. I, I think the idea of discussing simulation in our field is, is really now is the time. Uh, the airline industry has been using simulators to get pilots to the point where they're able to fly an aircraft before they ever step foot on the actual aircraft. We are very far from that at this point. But I think there needs to be more discussion about how we get to the point where our trainees are competent and proficient uh, as uh, more rapidly and without putting uh, the lives of our patients uh, yeah. at risk. Um, next year, I, I'm hoping that we're able to expand that a little further and perhaps have some of those simulators there available for individuals to use, not only so they can see what technology is out there, but perhaps even to be able to give industry feedback as to what more we need in order to, to meet the needs of our trainees and our ability to maintain our skills. Yeah, Dr. Benson, tell us a little more about next year, what to expect in Sky 2020 in terms of the congenital program. Well, we're, we're hoping to um, carry forward many of the uh, concepts and ideas. I think that uh, uh, looking at uh, uh, technical aspects of intervention for the for the uh, early early um, train for the trainees and uh, those early in their career is very useful and and, and sort of a, a uh, uh, something that's signature to Sky, uh, a sort of a gold post of what people look look to Sky for. Uh, so I'm hoping that we'd be able to incorporate more uh, uh, cases, whether mm -hmm. they're taped. There's a live case as well that's on this afternoon with uh, adult congenital heart disease. Uh, so I think that we're going to focus on, on, on that. And I think we're going to um, rely on the uh, 
uh, information from our colleagues, as Dan was alluding to, in terms yeah. of uh, things that they'd be interested in seeing. I, I think we, we would like to talk about complications in the catheter laboratory, quality assurance in the catheter laboratory, uh, ways of improving workflow in the catheter laboratory uh, in order to give a perspective, not just to worry about uh, the, the, the details of technique, but the overall um, uh, approach to patients in the conduct of the laboratory. Yeah. Well, thank you all for joining us today. And thank, thank you. you all for joining live from Skype 2019.